Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk. You want my G Fuel? Here and in today's video, we have a brand new video. Fortnite put out a tweet saying, Lace up, the crossover is going to knock you off your feet. For the first time ever, the NBA is joining Fortnite. Read our blog for info about the new cosmetic set, player lockers, and more. So I just want to get this off my chest. I think we kind of knew about this for a little bit now. I did not cover it. It was an encrypted set. I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit of a surprise, and I wanted to know more about it until we actually fully talked about it. And now we have a lot of information about it, and we actually have a lot more to discuss with it. So let's just get right into it. So they say here, ahead of the 2021 NBA playoffs, the league is joining Fortnite for the first time ever. Coinciding with the debut of the State Farm NBA play-in tournament, Fortnite x NBA The Crossover brings basketball's best into the item shop and Fortnite Creative, and with Team Battles, a unique experience featuring all 30 NBA teams in Fortnite. Debuting on May 21st, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern, Players can suit up and rep any of the league's 30 teams. The In The Paint set includes 31 uniforms, including all 30 NBA teams. Also available, grab the Shoot and Score Pack to get the Hook Shot Emote and Mini Hoop Back Bling, which can feature the logo of all 30 NBA teams. When other players have the Mini Hoop Back Bling equipped, you'll be able to call your shot. Not sure what they mean by that, but seems pretty interesting enough. If you're more of a point guard, show off your handles with the new dribbling traversal emote. And it doesn't stop there either. They say some of the league's best are ready to share what they wear when they escape into Fortnite. Starting next week, locker bundles personally selected by NBA guards Donovan Mitchell and Trey Young will arrive in the item shop. Donovan's locker includes the Cozy Chomps outfit, the Sharky Shawl back bling, the Stark Splitter pickaxe, the Dynamic Fire Wrap, and the Fire Spinner emote. And then Trey Young's locker is going to include the Scarlet Commander outfit with the Gold Digger pickaxe, the Happy Stars Wrap, and the Baller Emo. Just as the NBA playoffs tip off this week, following the State Farm Play in Tournament, Fortnite and NBA, the crossover heats up with a five day competition featuring all 30 NBA teams. Welcome to the Fortnite X NBA Team Battles. Taking place on May 19th through the 23rd, visit the Fortnite NBA Team Battles official page to sign up and support your favorite NBA team. Plus, have a shot at earning in-game rewards and V-Bucks. For a deeper dive on Fortnite X NBA Team Battles, we lined up details in a dedicated blog and official rules. And they say that's just the beginning. Coming next week, the NBA crosses over into Fortnite Creative. Look for a new blog update showcasing the new NBA Welcome Hub on Tuesday, May 25th. That was a lot to go through, and we didn't even talk about the team battles yet. For the team battles to get started, visit the Fortnite and NBA Team Battles website to sign up and join your favorite NBA team. I tried to get on the website and it didn't let me in. I'm assuming it's because there's too many people trying to get in this at the moment. They say note that member spots on a team are limited to the first 15,000 players to sign up. So if you want a chance to earn the in-game rewards and V-Bucks, join now. Each team will have additional bench spots for players to sign up as a fan to support their favorite team and still have a chance to earn in-game rewards. However, only the first 550,000 players will be able to sign up as a fan after which all fan signups will be closed. During the first three days of the Fortnite NBA team battles, challenge tasks will be shared on team battles website that members and fans can start competing to unlock in-game rewards. By completing challenge tasks, members and fans have the opportunity to unlock the spin in-game spray and an in-game banner. The stakes raise during weekend competition when the team battles leaderboards are turned on. Follow your team's challenge tasks and leaderboard progress on the site. The higher your team positions among the teams of the same group, the better the chance you have of earning V-Bucks and an additional reward, the NBA Championship Trophy Back Bling. If any member fails to participate in at least one challenge task within the first 24 hours of the Fortnite NBA team battles, that member will be removed from his or her team and will be disqualified from further participation in the Fortnite NBA team battles. In addition, the first fan to have registered as a fan for that team will claim the disqualified member spot on that team. What's up for grabs in the Fortnite NBA team battles? Here's a look at what you can earn by completing challenge tasks or by being a member of one of the top three teams after the Fortnite X NBA team battles come to a close 
on Sunday, May 23rd. And here's what they have here. They say members on number one ranked team, you get 500 V-Bucks, the Fortnite NBA Championship Trophy in-game cosmetic back bling. Fans on the number one ranked NBA team will get the back bling. On the second ranked, it's 300 V-Bucks. On the third ranked, it's 100 V-Bucks. Completing three challenge tasks will get you the spin in in-game cosmetic spray. And then completing five of them will give you the banner. And they say not part of the winning team, the NBA Championship Trophy back bling will return at a later date, which is good. I don't like missing out on cosmetics just because, oh, I didn't pick the right team or everyone's going to pick the Bulls and the Lakers. So, you know, how is that really fair, right? So that is pretty interesting. We had a lot to talk about with the NBA skins, man. Like I said, I did know about this for a little bit because they were encrypted and then they did get decrypted just today. There was a lot to talk about with them, and I wanted to wait until we actually got full news on these skins. So we might as well talk about the skin names. We have the Fast Break, the Half Court Hero, the Buzzer Beater, the Triple Double, the Fade Away. Those are the male skins. And then for the female, we have the Splash Specialist. We have the Rebound Raider, the Rainmaker, the Crossover Champion, and the Dynamo Dribbler. So I want to get this off my chest here. I am not an NBA fan. I root for the 76ers every once in a while. But out of all the sports we've gotten in Fortnite, NBA is easily my least watched and my least researched on. It's just not a sport I love all that much. I'm not saying you have to dislike it like I do. I'm happy for this. I, I have been so excited for NBA skins to arrive in the game because I love jerseys, I love logos, and I love color schemes. So I'm super hyped about this. We're getting 31 teams because one is going to be a Fortnite color scheme. And then the other 30 are going to be actual NBA skins. I'm hyped, man. Now, it does look like you're going to be able to most likely change your number on your jersey. They don't even mention that. And that's kind of a big deal to some people. I mean, I know everyone's going to run 69, but it's cool that you can have your own number on your jersey. And again, the color schemes... I think my favorite team that has the coolest color scheme to me is the Brooklyn Nets because I like black and white. I don't know about any of these other jerseys and I don't know about these other teams besides, again, the 76ers. I don't know if these like are retro jerseys. I don't know if it's like home and away because obviously there's only 30 for the NBA. So it's only one jersey. Maybe in the future we'll see away jerseys. I don't even know if NBA has away jerseys. That's how little I know about it. Now, I really like NHL. That is my bread and butter. So if we could get an NHL collab sometime soon, Fortnite just saying, that'd be really cool. One thing I want to mention as well is one disappointment I have with this, and I was going to make a video about this sometime this week as well. My issue with this is where is the chapter one default representation here? There is like none. I, I think there's one skin here that is actually of the chapter one style. Everyone else is a chapter two model. And I don't understand what Fortnite's fascination is with these new models. I don't mind them, but my goodness, please give us some variety with the character models. I know you really want us to love these new characters, but man, just give us some more variety. I would love to see like Banshee and Spitfire in one of these outfits. And it just sucks that we have to kind of deal with all these brand new models. They look good. They're high quality. They're cool. But don't forget about the defaults that made the game what it is today. Like even Jonesy in a basketball outfit would have been cool. But no, we didn't get that. So a little disappointing there. The outfits are still sick. Honestly, you don't even see the faces anyway. So I really don't know why I'm complaining. But I just wish we had a fair shake with the OG defaults with the newer defaults. I, that's all I'm saying. I would like that. Um, also, I just want to quickly mention here because you probably saw it already as I posted it, but the animation for this is amazing. We've gotten so many different animated uh, videos as of late for Fortnite. Like it's kind of insane how many we've gotten recently with the new LTN that just dropped yesterday. And we have one for two Meowsles not that long ago. Like we've been getting a lot of these little animated shorts and they're great, man. Uh, Fortnite's killing it with that. And besides all that, yeah, we have two locker bundles that are going to be coming soon. We're getting all these skins on Friday, by the way. Friday, we're going to be getting these skins. Very excited to cop all 10 of them. I'm going to buy them all, and it's going to be in the item shop. It's going to be great. I'm going to lose a lot of money, but, you know, it's fun because I like collecting skins. So 
we'll get to see this on Friday. So that makes me think like, what are we gonna get on Wednesday and Thursday? Because I wanted to mention this in a video, but I didn't know when to do it, but this is pretty much a good time to do it. We have a lot of skins in the leaks right now that haven't come out yet. We still have Doug that hasn't been out yet, which makes me think we might see him on Wednesday or Thursday. We also have skins like the Rainbow Racer that hasn't been seen yet. And we also have the Aurelia skin which we have not seen yet either. Those are three skins that are supposed to be in the item shop that we have not seen yet. And we don't have a lot of time until the next update. So my line of thinking is, huh, what are they going to do with these skins? When are they going to release them? I'm happy with the cosmetics we're getting. I'm just curious to know when we're getting these, right? I mean, Fortnite's been kind of on a hot streak with these skins. We had the Catwoman Zero bundle, the Lyra challenge pack, the Maria skin, the Etheria skin. We did get two new emotes. And then after that, we had the Beast Boy skin. Like they've been on kind of a hot streak with these new skins, man. So I'm very excited to see what we get coming up i mean again friday nba skins i'm excited for it and that's it for the video today hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please let me know the like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on the bell just to get all my latest uploads and if you like to use me for support or creator my code is itf y'all have yourselves a fantastic day or night everyone see ya